Hi guys, this is Radhika here again. Um, so today I wanted to make a video on uh, the next chakra in the seven chakras. So the next chakra is the Swadhisthan chakra uh, or it is also called as the sacral chakra in English. Um, so I, I, I was, I've been studying um, chakras for some time, like maybe a few weeks now and um, it was very interesting to me what they are because I did not know about them even though like I am from India and a lot of people in India know about this but I, I was always in studies and things like that so I never actually looked at metaphysical or spiritual things before um, but it's so amazing that uh, I have actually realized what happens to a narcissist uh, not just uh, from a psychological point of view because yes psychology is also very much um, on the spot and it knows what happened to the narcissist when it happened in their lifetime and why are they the way they are but behind psychology there is energy so where do we get our thoughts from where do they originate okay they originate in the brain but where in the brain and how how does all of this happen so what is energy and um, so chakras are energy centers which are based in our body and it's so amazing that even long back in vedic times um, this was already known like swadhisthan chakra which i'm going to discuss now if you look at what the properties of this chakra are and the next one after that which is manipura chakra I think what happens is the narcissists for them both of these chakras are imbalanced and if you actually if you actually read about this you will again feel like when when was the first time that you looked online on internet and you discovered that this is what is happening to you and um, if you read about the chakras you will discover this is what is happening to the narcissist and the people around the narcissist and how their energy is flowing and where it is getting stuck in their body and why they cannot progress, why they cannot get out of that state and become better people. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is really amazing and I will also give a link of the original lecture that I saw um, uh, it's it's by a, a, a Russian uh, sadhu called uh, Dada Sadanand and he explains this beautifully. I probably will not be able to explain it that well because he has of course been practicing for a long time and his knowledge about this must be like eons ahead of what I know. <laughs> Whatever I know, I know because of him and reading in some other online places so yeah but it's just amazing it's uh, for me at least it fit the puzzle very perfectly and it tells me where a person is operating when they are behaving a certain way um, and yeah there are ways to fix this so i know psychology says that it's hard to treat a narcissist because the narcissist won't accept that they are a narcissist but um, maybe if the narcissist is uh, like the people around the narcissist convince him or her to do the things to do some exercises asana meditation something like that maybe there can be a change i don't i'm not saying there will be because i haven't actually seen it but we can always like try and find out if it helps improve people okay so let's focus on the swadhisthan chakra so the first chakra that we learned was the uh, like we saw was the Murudhar chakra and this so that was based on survival you know just the physical body and uh, every everything to do with the body so you just want to make this physical body survive and in that mode you are just concerned with the body not with the outside world you just want to um, keep the body good and in a uh, functioning state and I did not discuss vrittis of uh, the uh, first chakra 
uh, because probably I can make another video on it uh, but this chakra I have to discuss the vritti vritti is like the behavior of this chakra so every chakra has particular behavior or you can also call it as a property like that's the property of that chakra and all those emotions are originating from there um, yeah so in the swadhisthan chakra um, this is where this is the pretty much like the first chakra whether whether Murudhar chakras uh, uh, will manifest in its uh, doing in whatever the Murudhara chakra wants to do so in the uh, Swadhisthan chakra the more uh, the person or whoever uh, whatever example we want to take is basically uh, sees objects other than the body so they are now looking to the world and they see things so I see food I eat it I see I see an outside object which is outside my body and I eat it and um, so that is the uh, Swadhisthan chakra so basically you are seeing objects outside in the world but there is no attachment to that object so I might see something I'll eat it and I'm done with it you know so it's it's a very uh, it's like a reptilian psychology like even mammals are like that even mammals eat but uh, mammals have the capacity of developing attachment to an outside object but reptiles they are completely based on I see this I use this I go you know so they are just like all business I saw something I ate it and I go I feel no attachment or whatever it is because there is no feeling of empathy there is no feeling of attachment it does not exist so if you see reptiles reptiles are always operating from this chakra which is Swadhisthan chakra and if you even look at the uh, symbol of Swadhisthan chakra which is this you will see this this crocodile right so it's a crocodile so the crocodile is uh, a representative if you look at a crocodile the crocodile will just bite off your arm and it, it won't care it will be like you were there so I had it you know crocodile doesn't care and that's why there's also the term crocodile tears so it's not real sadness it's just sadness for effect to fool others you know it's like emotions to fool other people into believing something but they are crocodile tears crocodile emotions they're just false emotions so so yeah this is the swadhisthan chakra and the vritti which is like the behavior of this chakra is one is a uh, avignya which is like disdain so you don't care okay it is a feeling that whatever that person thinks i don't care it's it's like uh or not even care it's like contempt that whatever they say doesn't matter it's that kind of a behavior um, then there is a prashraya which is over indulgence so it's like overstepping you know you give so you give a lot but you take you also take a lot so all these vrittis if if you if all these vrittis are balanced well in a swadhisthan chakra it is also a person who can um, understand others well can who gives you know like but not over give but when it goes out of balance it is this this thing of over giving you know over indulgence so you eat a lot it's a uh, it's this addictive kind of behavior like uh, if you eat you just eat 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 if you uh, you're taking drugs alcohol all these addictions that get developed are based in the swadhisthan chakra because it's a it's an addictive addictive kind of behavior and uh, some people are addicted to to the things they do so if you have a person in your family who's always the boss they will always want to boss you know like bossiness they are addicted to bossiness they want everyone to listen to them that is bossiness so uh, that is uh, sorry pressure so which is 
over indulgence you are um you are just like always you want something and you just want it you know like a not even like a child just like a reptile you know you want it and you don't care you don't you don't have the faculty of thinking anything other than what you want you don't think how it will affect anyone what it will do to the people so you know in a narcissistic scenario you can see how this makes sense right narcissists don't care like you will see and they they don't even care about their own children and that just blows my mind that it used to blow my mind but but if you if you know reptiles they also don't care about their own children like they uh, a snake can have babies and just eat them you know a snake might eat their own baby i know even kittens cats do that and they do it usually if they are very hungry they will eat one kitten to survive after the after the labor of giving birth but reptiles they don't feel they don't feel any maternal instinct they will or paternal instinct they will just kill their babies so so yeah um then there is a vishwas which is distrust so you distrust everyone and that distrust comes from a deep feeling of in confidence in yourself you know in human beings not in reptiles reptiles behave the way because they are reptiles you know they are not expected to have empathy but i'm saying this chakra is also present in human beings and some human beings are always operating from this chakra so when they are operating in i think from this chakra and manipur and they keep switching between these chakras they are called narcissists in uh, psychology so it's great how these two things kind of combine because this was written in vedic literature which is like eons before psychology or any of these things were you know coming to the forefront so it's just amazing how they have correctly described like so many things that we are seeing even now and um i guess it's just great to see how everything is kind of so correlated with each other and you can if you look at the bigger picture you will suddenly see all these links which were not there before okay so the next thing is uh, a vishwas so distrust which comes distrust to the world so they think the world is out to get them and they will think like the world is planning against them the world is plotting against them no one thinks good of them if they if they hear their name they are like they'll go and listen like what is that person talking about me and it's just this complete lack of confidence within themselves uh, which comes across as lack of confidence in the world because they don't trust anyone they don't um, there's no connection basically there's no empathy there's no connection there's emptiness everything is empty okay uh then there is a uh, krurta krurta is a uh, is a uh, mercilessness you know they don't have any mercy they don't have the emotion of mercy it's not present so it's not like uh, it's not like they are enjoying someone's uh suffering it's just that they have no emotion of empathy because they are operating from a place which is so much about me using the world for my survival that they do not even know that the other person might have feelings it's it's not they don't know this i mean reptiles of course in human beings we expect human beings to know this that is why we are so surprised when we see someone who is not like a human being more like a reptile and we call them narcissists or some people call them demons or whatever you want to call them um it just surprises us because they are operating from that zone you know which is which is uh, pretty much non human to us which is it is kind of but yeah there are human beings like that so it is probably human um okay so these are the uh, six six vrittis uh, so it's like contempt or feeling like 
you don't matter your opinion doesn't matter to me like you know like they have to feel to feel good they have to make someone feel bad that's the only way they can feel good they cannot feel good if they know someone else is good they think the only way to feel good is to make all the others bad it's like a top dog mentality you know like i have to be the top dog so i have to you know like conquer all the other dogs and i will be the leader then it's not a herd or a group or a team mentality that we all can be good and i am satisfied with what i am no they have to be the top dog so that is avignya which is disdain uh, then oh i forgot one okay so one another one is murcha murcha is like a stupor so when you go in this haze kind of a thing so i don't see narcissists in that but i do see a lot of people in the narcissistic clan they go into this phase which is like uh, they cannot move they are in like a paralysis state they have just disconnected with reality and that's called denial you know a lot of people in narcissistic clans are in denial they don't if someone tells them that something is a bit off your family is a bit off they will think that no you are a bit off my family is fine so that's denial you know they they keep denying it okay so if you have a good good swadeshtan chakra you will see beauty in your surroundings you will develop a lot of subtle subtle subtlety you know you will understand subtle emotions you will understand subtly the interpersonal relation everything will become more deep to you you know more depth it will get depth like love will get get depth um what you say to someone and how it affects them that will get depth and that will change you um if you have a bad swadeshtan chakra you go about like a tornado where wherever you are you are like a tornado you are crude you destroy relationships you do not you hurt people you do not even know that you have hurt people you do not even understand that you have hurt people um you completely ignore reality you live in your own like la la land where you where everyone loves you and you are the best and you are the best at relationships and everyone wants to be with you um control manipulate so they are always trying to control everything because they have this deep insecurity that if things go wrong i won't be able to manage it so they are trying to control everything and manipulate everything to go the way they want it to go okay they cannot just let it be and just flow go with the flow they can't go with the flow they have to control everything um this idea that i get what i want kind of like my way or the highway that kind of an attitude uh no idea of space or boundaries uh they are extremely suspicious and uh they also have this fear of death oh i actually forgot that also so that is another vritti which is sarvanash so they forget uh, that is the fear of death or not even death it's like the fear of destruction that no one will remember me i will be gone no one will it's like they want to live on and on you know like they don't want to die they just don't want to die so that is uh, that is sarvanash um yeah so basically they are, they fear death which is the death of their ego because they want to be known and they want every like their tales to live on so so yeah that was the swadeshtan chakra and um let me know if it sounds familiar if the characteristics sound familiar if you want to study the swadeshtan chakra you should look at reptiles because they are in that chakra that is the chakra in which reptiles are um operating and reptiles are usually cold blooded so <laughs> i mean i'm sure you can see the connection there so um yeah this was today's video i hope you like it and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thanks bye